Well, I'm assuming that you can see the snow coming out of the air. We have just had two very cold nights, uh, minus 18 night before last and minus 13 last night, but it is moderating. When it moderates around here after a cold spell, we get snow. It's minus five right now and uh, light snow coming. For the next 24 hours or so, it's not giving a severe snowstorm or anything, but if you look at all the accumulations that are possible, I guess we could get 10 centimeters or so, which for us isn't a heck of a lot in the wintertime. Anyway, the purpose of the video is to show you my purchases. I've bit the bullet, so to speak, and have bought some solar equipment. Well, I came out, I don't know, an hour and a half or so ago, I guess, and got the fire lit in here. And it's lovely, cozy, and warm in here right now. A great place to be on a cold day like this. First, I'd like to thank everybody who offered their suggestions and help in my video about uh, requesting help for the solar power for out here. I have followed some of your advice, I guess, but I, I sort of made the decision as I went along researching this that uh, I would go with something quite small and something that could be added to and made larger if I decide that I ever had the need for it. And a couple of people suggested, um, I can't think of the name of it now, what's it called? Harbor Freight. Um, we don't have Harbor Freight in Canada, I don't think, but anyway, I live on the main New Brunswick border and down in Bangor, Maine, it's about a two and a half hour drive or so from here, is a Harbor Freight. And I was online for their uh, website, checking out different things, and decided on this, the uh, uh, equipment that I would like to have. And I phoned the Bangor store, and they had it all in stock. So yesterday I took a drive down to Harbor Freight, and uh, for less than $300 Canadian, and that includes the tax at the border, bringing it across the border, the HST, which was only like $37 or something like that tax on it. I've got a system that I can at least get started with. I'll give you a look at it here. I went with this kit. Uh, if you can see that or read it or not. Anyway, it is three solar panels, uh, three 15 watt solar panels for a total of 45 watts. And the entire kit is sort of ready to go uh, 12 volt when you get it put together. It even came with a couple of uh, 12 volt lights and the uh, connectors to hook the 12 volt lights up. Um, the, the, I've, I've been online trying to figure out how powerful these lights must be, but the lights were out here and my computer is up at the house, so I didn't have I'm able to search the brand name or anything, but these are 5 volt, no, 5 watts, excuse me, 5 watt uh, lights, and they, if you can see the thing inside there, it looks like they must be CFLs to me anyway. Uh, which probably is not all that bright, maybe the equivalent of a 40 watt light bulb or even even weaker. So I don't know if two of them will give the light that I want for in here or not, but the, but I was also looking online at, at other 12 volt uh, light bulbs and I can I can buy what I want. I, I, I prefer LED to CFL. I just like the quality of the light much better and and there are 12 volt uh, LED light bulbs that are the equivalent of uh, a 60 watt light bulb. So, um, you know, uh, if these don't give light enough, I can always buy a couple of those, and I know that will give more than adequate light in here. So, perhaps all I needed was this system. I also bought an inverter, 400 watt inverter. Uh, mainly because I couldn't resist the price. Uh, for some reason, these are drastically reduced at, at, to Harbor Freight. Whether it's just about to be discontinued and they're coming out with a better product or not, it didn't say. But they're regularly around $70 and they were selling for $20. So I thought, you know, for $20 you can't go wrong, I'll, I'll buy one. 
uh, after I got home and got looking at the the uh, the package, I realized that it has the wrong connector for me to be able to use. This is an inverter that my brother gave me. He used to use it when he had a, a fifth wheel um, uh, to run something. I forget what he said he was running with it, but some kind of an appliance just by plugging it into the cigarette lighter in the car type thing. And that's the kind of uh, plug that I need for this. Now I say I paid $20 for this. I've been online and uh, with eBay and the cheapest I could find for just the the plug with the the two uh, connectors to go on your converter thing here. Great technical terms here. I still don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I paid $20 for this. It's cost me $15 for the connector. But, and I'm not so sure really if I need it or, or will use it, but I, I'll have it. Perhaps even this 175 um, watt inverter would be all that I need. The only drawback is this doesn't have a USB port. And I want a USB port. So this does have a USB port. And this thing, get my technical terms correct here, charge regulator is what they call this. And this is where the inverter would plug in here with a thing like the cigarette uh, plug-in, male cigarette plug-in thing. And it'll take another one over here to run any 12-volt appliance. And these are where the two lights would go or anything else that you wanted to plug in to run 12 volts. So I think all in all, I think it's a decent piece of, of kit. Um, it does say somewhere... Uh, on the packaging here that they recommended a 300 watt inverter. If I bought a 400 watt inverter. If somebody can tell me if that makes a, a difference or not, let me know. And also I forgot to mention this thing also has a USB uh, plug. So also I guess if you can <laughs> if I plug in my iPad or my computer into this to, to, to charge is that going to be all right just because it has a USB plug? Is it going to give me the right voltage, or am I going to fry some of my equipment? So if you, if you know more about that sort of thing, let me know, would you? And also, having bought a 400-watt inverter, does that really make a difference? It, it said something about a 300-watt in, inverter um, being larger. Does that make any difference? I don't know. I bought a battery. Uh, $69 I think the battery was and this comes with all the connectors to hook the battery up so that is ready to roll I guess I'm not I haven't taken the solar panels out of the they, they come with the frame to put them put it up with and it says on here that 45 watts in two days should charge the battery. Well, I'm assuming that's optimal <laughs> days of sunlight. And I don't have the best sunlight exposure here at the cabin. There's a chart that came with everything that says what angle the, uh, the uh, panel should be put up at. So I've got to do some calculating on that, whether or not my roof is already at a good enough angle or if I put it on the roof, you know, increasing the angle or whatever. Um, anyway, I'm thinking that if you know two days will charge the battery, I'm not going to be using this that much as long as there isn't any drain on the battery. There isn't something connected to it that's draining power. Um, I would think the battery would be, you know, fully charged whenever I want to use it because I'm not out here that frequently. And it gives you a little indication down here: 168 hours, and it shows a light bulb. And <laughs> well, you know what is that? 60 watts, 100 watts? It doesn't tell you. 34 hours, you should be able to run your laptop with it, and then it shows a refrigerator. It'd be some kind of a small refrigerator. 34 hours, and a television. It's got that down at 84 hours. So you know, I don't know what any of that means. I'm not going to be running any of those things anyway, other than the light. So it doesn't make any difference to me. Anyway, that is what I have gone with. And as I said, I'd like to thank everybody very much for all of their helpful comments and suggestions. And if you have any more comments or suggestions based on what I've just shown you, please, I would be, I would more than welcome them. Far too cold for me to be crawling on the roof right now. I'm not sure when it will moderate enough that I can get outdoor and do some installation, but it's going to be much better weather than we're having today anyway. Thank you very much for watching.
I just finished making that little clip, and I think I'll show you that this storm sort of is closing in a bit more than it was predicted to. But maybe this is just a flurry and it'll be over with soon. But it keeps coming down like this, it will accumulate. At least there isn't any wind. Uh, when I was out earlier, the smoke rising out of the chimney from the cabin here was going straight up in the air, wasn't being blown either way. So, once again, thank you for watching.